Okay, so um, I had recently received a request from Callan's Fun Channel. Um, she's an awesome YouTuber that um, definitely shows us a lot of love and support on our videos. She had recently requested that I do a video on how I create my thumbnails for my, you know, YouTube videos. So hopefully I can explain it um, to you guys in a way that makes sense. This is just the way I do it. And you go into the Pic Collage app. All right, so you click it. Now, it's not going to look like this. This is because I was in it already. Ah. All right, it's going to look something like this. And you're going to hit the plus sign. There's a little plus sign right there. It's going to automatically go to your photos that you have in your phone. You can just skip that. And then now it brings you to this blank screen. And now this is where you can change your background color. There's all different kind of background colors down here. Let's just use basic black. Then you hit the check mark to apply. Use this picture of King Ezekiel. I hit the check mark. Get bigger to how you want it to look. Okay, make it as big as you want it. Now, if you want to add some text, you just got to click anywhere on the, you know, the, let me just move that picture, anywhere on the, you know, the background. And then you hit text. And then you'll, if you hit the letter key here, it lets you select whatever font you want for your text. A font I use a lot is this one, Ed's Market. See, and then you type in what you want to say. Let's just say, all right, King Ezekiel. Ah, I can't type. Okay, check mark. You see how it, how it's right there. Another thing is you can um, mess with the color here of your text. This little thing that looks like a teardrop is for the color of the actual text. This here is for the background color if you want black or if you want white white or whatever. Let's just have nothing. I don't want anything. I'm just going to have plain. And then again the arrow allows you to adjust the size of the text. I don't know why I did pink <laughs> for King Ezekiel. And then you got the text. You can enlarge it right there. Ah. King Ezekiel. I'm going to change that text because it looks funny. Okay, it's a red. And let's do a background of black. So, see how it automatically does that? So just adjust your picture to where it fills up the whole screen. Oh, hold on. Fills up the whole screen. And then, adjust your, oh, too big. Adjust your text. Another thing you can do is you can adjust the lighting um, on your photo or you can crop it. You see right here when I double click the photo it brings all these different options on uh, up. It, it brings all these different options up. You got effects which is you click that. Um, it's not really focusing but it gives you all these different options like you can change the color you know of your photo. Or you can, um, ah, didn't mean to do that. Or you can, um, like, it, you can change the orientation. Like, if you want it to be in a different position, you can crop your photo. You can, um, uh, there's a, they, they pretty much explain, they're self explanatory. And then the enhance is the one that I use a lot where you can change the lighting on your picture. Let's just change the scenery and do apply and then hit done. And you see how it applied to the photo. So now let's say that this is going to be the thumbnail that you want to use for one of your videos. So you want to screenshot this. I'm going to screenshot it. Then you go to your pictures. Sorry. Go to your pictures. And then you adjust it, crop it to what you want it to be. I usually go like this. And I'm done. Okay, so now that you've saved the photo that you want as your thumbnail, you want to um, try to get it 
try to figure out a way to get it saved onto your computer the way or your laptop the only way I really know how to do it is I'll go straight to my Yahoo from my phone all right so you go into your Yahoo you go to your photo library library go to your camera roll and then hit the picture then you put the email address that you want to send it to and you um, hit send you can send it to yourself and then then from there you go to the computer okay so now you're on the computer you're gonna go to your sent folder because that will have the email that you just had sent with the thumbnail you want see how it's right there and you hit download okay. open all right so that's my thumbnail I usually right click and open it with paint see paint okay no, that's your thumbnail that's how it looks on paint so you have to resize it I usually change it to like I don't know 60 percent here okay enter all right so that's your thumbnail and you hit save now you want to go to YouTube all right so let's say you're on your channel and now you're ready to you know upload the thumbnail for your video so you want to go to video manager right here video manager right there you want to click video manager you want to select the video that you're going to change the thumbnail for now let's say it's going to be let's just say I want to change the thumbnail for my last video to the King Ezekiel one now right here this um, fourth image here it's going to say change image when you hold the arrow over it you click it see your pictures right there double click and it's going to change it right there see and then you hit save save changes I don't want to do it but <laughs> you hit save changes and then down below it'll give you a little message that says all save all changes saved and then when you go to the video you know it'll show the new thumbnail the King Ezekiel thumbnail so um I hope that makes sense to you guys yeah leave this page because I'm not I'm not changing the thumbnail I hope that makes sense to you guys um and hopefully you know you guys are able to follow my little flow when you <clears throat> set up your thumbnails